So today we're at the Wolf Ridge uh, Wind Facility up near Munster, Texas, and this is part of a large research project involving um, Texas Christian University, Florida Power and Light Energy um, Company, and then also Oxford University. There are three major, I guess, arms of this research initiative, and I'm in charge of the impacts on birds and bats. So we're really looking at, at wildlife, and one of the first questions we want to um, address is, can we come up with a statistically robust and yet efficient way of estimating mortality um, on these wind facilities, so mortality due to direct collisions with the wind turbines. And so today we're laying some of the groundwork for that effort by starting our scavenger and searcher efficiency trials. And so we purchased animals from uh, this commercial breeder and he euthanized them for us. And then today we're laying them out on the wind resource area and we're working in two different teams. And hopefully after um, today's um, data collection, we'll be able to estimate at least a first-hand look at how efficient are we at finding carcasses of different size. So for example, Jeff, my student, he might just have a better set of eyes and be uh, more efficient at detecting carcasses than I am. So we want to be able to account for those differences. And then we also want to be able to account for the scavenger rate. So how quickly are carcasses being removed from the wind resource area? If wind turbines are sighted in a smart way, that generally the bird mortality is probably going to be pretty low, and we, we would expect that to be the case, the case here. Um, wind companies are really taking initiative to avoid uh, locations that are really stopover sites for migrating birds, um, that meaning that they're going to come down and use water in the area and stop over during their migration. And they've also learned to stay away from edges of mesas or canyons where raptors are soaring and riding the thermals and foraging in those areas. And so the idea is if we're going to have this green energy, how green is it really and what are the impacts on, on wildlife populations?